about five o'clock and I am sitting on the couch with this little one. She's jumping all over me. Lily, can you say hi? That's how she says hi. Can you say hi? Yeah. Say hi. Hi. Yeah. Hi. That was so cute. Yeah, so we're just sitting here watching Sesame Street. I'm letting her get her Sesame Street fix in now because at 7 o'clock, Vampire Diaries series finale is coming on. And I don't know if I'm ready for it. Are you ready for it, Jean? No. So we have a bet going on. We both picked three people who we think is going to be the person who dies because the, the creator, Julie Pl uh, said, I think say the last name is Pleck, Julie Pleck. She said that one of the main characters dies and that's what brings the whole group of everybody like back together and that's like the final scene. They're at a funeral. Um, so somebody dies. And I've had several different theories on who it is. But anyway, my brother and I, who also is a huge fan of the show, um, made a bet. We both picked our top three people on who we think is going to die. And I picked either Stefan, Caroline, or Bonnie. I picked Stefan because I think it would be he's going to give the cure to his brother so that way he can grow old with Elena and get married and have kids, their whole plan. Um, and also somebody... This just kind of helped validate why I thought it was him is I was um, posting on a thread um, an article on Facebook about people were putting in their guesses on who they thought it was going to be. And I can't remember who it was, but they said something like it's going to be Stefan because basically Vampire Diaries is all about him. Like the first ever episode, the pilot episode, he said, um, you know how they're like, oh, um, dear diary, you know, yada, yada, yada. And Stefan says, this is my story. So that's why I'm thinking it's Stefan. I also think it's Caroline just because, well, we made the bet. We cut it off last week, so I don't think it's Caroline anymore. Um, but she was one of the people who I thought. And obvious choice, Bonnie, because Elena can't come back unless Bonnie's dead. And Elena obviously comes back. And my brother over there, it's on his phone. He picked Stefan, Matt, or Bonnie. Again, Bonnie and Stefan, obvious reasons. But he picked Matt because Matt's the only person who hasn't really, like, died and he stayed a human this whole time. So he's just thinking he has to, you know. So, yeah. We're going to get some popcorn going before it starts and... Yeah, we got a couple more hours to go, but mm, I'm not ready for it. Well, the time has arrived. Don't look at me right now. It's emotional. I can't. It's starting. I'm going to get emotional. So, my brother and I are having a little bit of a debate. Um, it's been, you know, reported that a main character dies and the final group scene is at a funeral. And, and that they're, like, in the woods. So, my brother and I have a debate on who we think is going to be the person to die. And this clip, I paused it so we could see. You could see Bonnie holding on to Caroline, and then there's Elena and Alaric. So I think it's Stefan. Obviously, this just kind of confirms it a little more, but he's thinking this is a flash, like a flashback of a previous funeral scene or something. But I don't remember any other scene in the past eight seasons with this picture. So yeah, there's that. We're going to keep watching. Well, the actual final episode is about to start right now. And the little thing they showed before really just made it that much more difficult to watch. Right, Jean? Don't, don't put it on me right now. Yeah. 
opening sequence thinking you're going to get the happy Damon Elena reunion? Nope, you're getting the happy, not so happy, Damon Catherine reunion. Joy. Yeah. <sighs> Yeah, so Bonnie just sent the Hellfire back down, and then she fainted, and Stefan ran back in, Damon was still in there, so right now it's looking like Stefan, Damon, Bonnie, one of the three. Um, I really hope it's not Damon, I'm thinking it's Stefan, or Bonnie. But I, I don't know what to say. It's There's about 15 minutes left and I'm not ready for it to be over, so. And Elena hasn't woken up yet. So there's that too. Well, um. <laughs> yeah. So is Stefan. I kind of knew it. Um, yeah. I mean, I kind of knew it was him. It hit me a little more emotionally than I thought it would, like, actually seeing it. But, yeah. They pretty much gave everybody a happy ending as much as they can. And it looks like they may be pursuing a Klaus Caroline situation, which I'm all for. Um, but yeah. Uh, <laughs> I mean. It wasn't exactly the ending I was hoping for. It basically just said Elaine and Damon got married, lived a happy life, and didn't really go into detail. And it ended with, you know, a hello brother line. And yeah. That's. I'm not completely happy with it, but it gave us a happy ending for the most part. So I don't have much to say because I'm still processing. <laughs> Anything you want to say, brother? <laughs> he doesn't want to be on camera, so not right now, he says. Yeah, so. <sighs> yeah. That was interesting, to say the least. So, I need to process this, and then I'm going to bed. So, thank you. <laughs>